Hey broskies, it's Sona. So today, I'll be drawing the many generations as humans. There's been a lot of talk about Gen Alpha lately, so I figured, why not draw every generation and explore their unique differences? This video is sponsored by Misplay. More on them later. Let's get started. First up is Gen Alpha. So to get started, Gen Alpha is the newest generation today, consisting of kids born from around 2010 to 2025. And of course, I say kids because currently there is no Gen Alpha adults. The ages of Gen Alpha is about 13 and younger, most being under 13. There has there's been so much talk surrounding Gen Alpha lately, which really fascinated me and is what really got me to make this video. Gen Alpha is known as the iPad Kid generation. Since we see so many kids today always glued to their screens for hours at a time, nowadays everyone has become so attached to technology, around 90 to 95% of US citizens use the internet every single day. Being born into today's society, where internet and social media is extremely relevant, it's no wonder Gen Alpha's main activities consist of scrolling through TikTok, watching YouTube, or just playing games on their devices. It's become extremely common for parents to give their kids an iPad to keep them occupied even as young as two years old. And this isn't the only thing that has become common for kids in recent years. As time goes on, Gen Alpha kids are getting more and more influenced by social media. For example, they see influencers they enjoy using high-end makeup products. Now we have little kids using makeup like Play-Doh. Or kids suddenly caring about brand name clothes, younger and younger, because it's trendy and they want to be cool. Children wanted $50 cups because of the brand? When I was that young, I just wanted Uncrustables. And honestly, I feel bad for these kids. I mean, nowadays, kids are exposed to so much at once, it's no wonder they're being influenced by all these trends and rising popularity of technology. Society and the world itself is just changing rapidly. On the other hand, kids are becoming more and more aware of problems in the world, which is scary and can be very overwhelming, but can also help them make better choices as adults, especially with how many more resources and important information is available to us now. By the way, guys, I am not trying to dunk on these kids, okay? This is just what they're talking and what they've grown up with. Ultimately, parents are responsible and in control of their kids' screen time and what they can be exposed to. That's why it's important to moderate them. As you can see in my drawing, I'm definitely following the stereotype of Gen Alpha, an iPad kid glued to his screen. Now for the clothes, I also really wanted to focus on the fact that a lot of kids nowadays seem to really care about brands. Maybe they scroll through TikTok and see all their favorite creators wearing Gucci, or all their friends at school are flexing their new Nike shoes. Kids love being able to flex, okay? So he's wearing a Supreme hoodie because for some reason, a red box is cool and luxurious, as well as a pair of Nike socks. A really common hairstyle I've been seeing is this undercut with scruffy hair on top, so that's what I gave him. Dyeing your hair is also widely popular now, so his hair is blue, and I accidentally made him look like Ninja. To really emphasize just how hyperfixated he is on his iPad, I made him look hypnotized by giving his eyes this swirly effect. His eyes are glued on there. It's like he's in a different universe and couldn't care less about anything else. All that matters is that Fortnite Battle Royale. He's sitting on the couch with a bag of Doritos next to him, cause if you're a gamer, you gotta have Doritos next to you. Sorry, I don't make the rules. The very first thing I think about when I hear Gen Alpha is Skibbity Toilet, all right? And originally, I was gonna put Skibbity Toilet on his hoodie, but it didn't fit. So I put Skibbity next to his head along with the YouTube and TikTok logos because they are all consuming his mind. Here is my finished drawing of Gen Alpha. It's kind of funny, but also kind of sad. Anyways, I'm proud of this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next generation is Gen Z, which is also my generation. Gen Z consists of people born from around 1997 to 2012. The ages range from 12 to 27. This generation is best known for their use of social media and consuming online content. Social media became very popularized in the early 2000s and has continued to rapidly grow since. Many kids and teens from Gen Z remember growing up with social media and making online friends. I know I did. Sometimes even more than friends in real life. Online games also contributed to this, such as Roblox and other social games like Movie Star Planet, Club Penguin, and so many more. Honestly, the early 2000s was peak for games. I loved stuff like PS2, GameCube, and the Wii system. Also, you guys are lucky. Today, anime and Minecraft is so popular and mainstream, but when I was younger, liking stuff like anime and Minecraft was considered cringe at the time, and you'd get bullied for it, which I think is another reason why social media became more of a safe space for nerds who liked joining online communities surrounding their interests. It was a great way for us to be ourselves and find people who had similar tastes. Gen Z is considered resourceful, which makes sense because we have so much more information at our fingertips, making this generation much more aware of the problems our world is facing, and we are generally considered much more inclusive than prior generations, valuing diversity and creativity. However, one of the bigger concerns for this generation is mental health. Many people reporting things such as social media increasing their anxiety and lowering their self-esteem, among many other things. Depression is also a huge issue that has only been growing throughout the years. The economy also isn't doing too hot, with the cost of living becoming less and less affordable. Either way, 
I hope we have a bright future. Yay. So for Gen Z, I'm drawing a girl with aspects from both the early 2000s and from more recent years. So much has happened in Gen Z. I mean, I was born in 2001, so I guess I'm considered earlier Gen Z, which honestly I'm really grateful for because I've gotten to experience older pop culture that's really nostalgic to me now as an adult. I decided to make this girl a streamer since streaming has become very popular. She's holding up her phone and in her left hand, she is holding the Grimace shape. That's definitely one of the more recent trends and I just thought it'd be perfect for her to be recording herself moments before disaster. That's kind of just Gen Z in a nutshell. I gave her this cute, trendy pink hairstyle and apparently 40% of Gen Z dyes their hair. So there you go. She's wearing a V-cut crop top and I've been seeing these everywhere. Plus they're super cute. Mini skirts and thigh highs are also widely popular now, especially because of anime culture. I gave her this pink polka dot bag with the happy bunny on it, which is a bunny cartoon style brand I grew up with in the early 2000s. All the kids in my school, including me, would wear this bunny usually on a shirt with a really funny saying, sometimes really unhinged. I'm kind of surprised it was allowed in schools back then, to be honest. On her right wrist, she's wearing these silly bands. They were basically animal shaped elastic bands that kids would trade in the 2000s. It was super popular and I think it actually eventually got banned because the teachers found it too distracting. She's wearing heavy eyeliner and eyeshadow and has many piercings. I just feel like Gen Z isn't afraid to make bolder or extreme fashion statements like previous generations, so heavy makeup and piercings is definitely more normalized now. On her bag is a pin of the bi flag, as I definitely believe society has become more accepting and educated on stuff that wasn't accepted as much before, which I think is really awesome. Around her I added some emojis and the Instagram logo to emphasize the social media craze. Here is my Gen Z girl. I think she turned out adorable. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, please leave a like and comment. Next up, we have Generation Y. Gen Y, aka Millennials, are those born from around 1981 to 1996, and ages are about 28 to 43 years old. This is the first generation on this list that I cannot relate to as I was not a part of it, so I'll be relying more on research for this one. So Millennials are also called Digital Natives, being one of the first generations to grow up with computers, mobile phones, and internet. Computers back then were very different from the ones we see now, as well as the first mobile phone looking like a box. While the internet was a thing early earlier on. The first social medias didn't come out until around 1997, the first social media being called sixdegrees.com, which I never heard of before, but stuff like Facebook and Instagram just didn't exist during this time period. Video games were on the rise in 1985, with the Nintendo Entertainment System coming out, Nintendo's first video game console, and in the late 80s, Super Mario Bros was booming in popularity. The first PlayStation was also released in 1995. Other popular games during this time was Legend of Zelda, Metroid, and Sonic the Hedgehog. While the internet existed in technology, was slowly advancing, music for sure dominated the entertainment industry during these older time periods. Music like alternative rock and hip hop were at their peak during this time period and artists like Michael Jackson and Madonna were known as the leaders of pop music. So many nostalgia cartoons and movies came out during this time. 90s kids grew up with shows like Powerpuff Girls, Rugrats, Catdog, Spongebob, the list just goes on. Even though I wasn't born in the 90s, I grew up with these cartoons too. For my drawing here, since there's so much to go over, I'm making two characters. The 80s and 90s just have way too much to bunch into one character, it would end up looking like a Roblox avatar. Now, 80s fashion was super colorful. I mean, some of these outfits just slapped me in the face with rainbows. Sporty rainbow clothes were very popular with women. The 80s was also the scrunchy girls era, so I had to give her a scrunchy ponytail. Puffer jackets were a huge thing, and not even for winter, just a fashion statement. It didn't matter if it was summer, you'd see people wearing puffer jackets. Bobby Jack was a popular kids clothing brand that came out in 2001, and even though it isn't technically 90s, kids who were born in the 90s very much still wore Bobby Jack growing up as you can still be a 90s kid and grow up with very early 2000s stuff. I loved Bobby Jack as a kid, so I gave her a Bobby Jack crop top under her puffer jacket. Fox fur was also a very popular thing in the 80s, so she has a fuzzy purse that's also holding a Furby, which are these creepy bird goblins that came out in 1998. I'm sure you've seen them. Although for a period of time, they were actually banned for being accused of spying. Anyways, they were very popular and I had one and I eventually threw it away because it scared me. Lastly, she is holding a Tamagotchi which is this little handheld game where you need to feed and take care of your digital pet or else it dies and you're traumatized for life. These things were definitely one of the most iconic 1990s toys in history. Now let's talk about the guy on the right. He mostly represents the 90s and video game nerd culture. Popular fashion for guys in the 90s consisted of stuff like bomber jackets and flannels as well as baggy pants and ripped jeans. Stuff like medium length, shaggy hair was common, especially for video game nerds. I actually loosely based this hairstyle off of my big brother's hair from when he was younger and yes, he's a millennial. And 
video game nerd, so this is very accurate. This dude is holding a chunky flip phone and also has a pair of headphones around his neck. On his shirt is the PlayStation logo, since the PlayStation came out in the 90s, and also PS2 is the best thing from my childhood. Here are the millennials. I really like how they turned out. Do you like the 80s girl or the 90s guy more? And now here comes Gen X. Generation X are those born from around 1965 to 1980. This generation is often described as independent, and as kids and teens, many grew up with not much supervision from adults. The standards were really different back then. Parents could leave their kids at home alone, or even send them to the store by themselves to pick up groceries. Meanwhile, nowadays, that's probably illegal and considered bad parenting. Gen Xers are generally considered very hardworking and tough. They were also the very first generation to grow up with personal computers. Well, only if you could afford it. It was more common for big corporations and companies to have computers than the general public. Mobile phones weren't even available to the public either until 1983, so people used rotary phones. The first arcade machines came out in 71, the first game being Computer Space. In the later 70s, arcades became much more popular with the releases of Space Invaders and Pac-Man. This is also when Chuck E. Cheese became a thing and traumatized many children. The very first game consoles came out in the 70s, such as the Magnavox Odyssey, Atari Pong, and more. Cable TV was also a popular source of entertainment, but a color TV was considered very expensive back then. So not everyone had a TV in their home. By far, one of the biggest crazes in the 70s was disco. In fact, this generation is best known as the disco era. Disco clubs and parties became a huge hit, especially with young people. People would dance to the beat of disco music and disco bands together to party and have fun. It was also described as a form of rebellion, for a way for people to escape from society norms and really express themselves. So fashion in the 70s was also very colorful. People actually often describe the 80s as a just more extreme 70s. This is when hippie style and disco fashion really boomed. Pants like bell bottoms, flare out pants, and denim were popular. Fluffy jackets, tie dye shirts, and sparkly clothes were in too. As you can see from my character, I mainly focused on the hippie and disco genre. She's wearing a sparkly crop top with a heart cut out, as crop tops started to gain popularity in the 60s and 70s as a symbol of women's liberation. On her arms are sparkly hot pink tassels, which was in with hippie fashion. She has an afro hairstyle and is wearing gold hoop earrings as well as these round colorful sunglasses, along with various other accessories. Below are tie dye bell bottoms with chunky platform shoes, which were commonly paired together. Last but not least, she has some soft pink lipstick and light glittery eyeshadow. To top it off, I made her in this cute dancing pose. I've never drawn someone dancing before, so I did my best. Around her are symbols of the 70s. Here is my cute 70s girl. This one's for sure my favorite. Speaking of gaming and technology, for all my gamers out there, this video is sponsored by Mistplay. Mistplay is one of the best loyalty apps for gamers who love to play mobile games. Mistplay offers games for every genre, and by playing games through Mistplay, you can earn points and then redeem them for gift cards, such as Amazon and the Google Play Store. It's a really nice casual way to play games while earning rewards at the same time. Now I don't have to feel completely guilty about playing a game. This one game I played called Merge Gardens is my favorite. Basically, you just merge plants and make a cool garden. It's perfect for when I just want to turn my brain off. When I get enough, I'm gonna get this. So I can treat myself to a nice Dunkin' Donuts Espresso. Or maybe I'll grab one of the Amazon cards. There's so many different cards you can get on here. It's super cool, honestly. There's definitely a lot of games to choose from, which will keep me entertained for a while. To get started, click on the link in the video description and use my code SONA50 to get 50 free points, which will help towards redeeming your first gift card and possibly discover some new games that you've never tried before. Thank you to Misplay for sponsoring this video. Last but not least is the Baby Boomers generation. Boomers are those born from 19. 46 to 1954, and are currently 70 to 78 years old. And the reason they're called baby boomers is because, well, they were booming with babies. Okay, sorry, that sounded weird. For a long time, they were America's largest generation, since birth rates skyrocketed in the 1950s, but was recently surpassed by millennials. Boomers are known for priding themselves in their hard work, toughing stuff out, and having more traditional values. Believe me, my meme is a boomer, and she is one strong, independent woman, and also kind of stubborn. Uh, it feels weird calling my own grandma a Boomer. Love you, Meme. World War II basically ended right before the Boomer generation, and as the world began its recovery, there was an economic boom. The economy grew by 37% in the 1950s, and inflation was minimal. Industries expanded, and US citizens now had access to goods that weren't available during the past war. Popular entertainment during this time was television, arguably the dominating force of entertainment during this time. Only 9% of households had a TV during their early 50s, though, as television was super expensive since they were relatively 
relatively new, especially if you wanted a colored TV. My meme can confirm this. I remember her telling me she would often go to her friend's house when she was young so she could just watch TV. But by the 60s, 90% of families owned a TV. Drive-in movies became widely popular too. And you can actually still go to drive-in movies today. It's a pretty cool experience, I'd recommend it. This time period is also when the civil rights movement began to abolish legalized racial segregation in America. So as my meme said, partying and socializing was more alive back then, as they didn't have phones to text on all day, people would go out more and experience physical socialization. Of course, people do that now too, but it was just different back then. People would go to party houses and clubs, have barbecues, kids would play outside and stab each other with sticks. That kind of stuff was everyone's main source of entertainment, because they didn't have all the crazy stuff that we have today. Gender roles were also much more prominent, as men would work, and women were expected to stay at home and care for their kids. Nowadays, we see much more women going out and pursuing their own careers. I'd say out of all the generations, the fashion for boomers is very different and pretty distinguishable from the rest. As you'd guess, it was all more old-timey. Classy and modest clothes were in during the 50s. For me, the women's hairstyles in the 50s are by far the most different thing compared to now. While I was researching for this, I could not find long hairstyles. Women mostly wore their hair up, or it was short and very styled, with curlers and combs to make wavy patterns, and flat hats were also popular with women, and was often paired with their dresses and classier outfits. Poodle skirts, pencil skirts, jeans, and midi dresses were in style, as well as peplum jackets and blouses. I'd say lighter, more pastel colors were preferred during this time period, like light yellows, greens, blues, and pinks. Polka dots, plaid, and floral patterns were worn a lot as well. My drawing features a combination of these things. I added in a pearl necklace and pearl earrings, which I don't see much of anymore, but I think it's super cute. Women wore makeup like red blushy cheeks, thick eyeliner, and deep red lipstick. Last but not least, she's holding a newspaper because back then, you couldn't get news on your cell phone. Here is our stunning boomer lady. Thank you broski so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me drawing the generations as people. I put a lot of work into these videos, especially this one. I made like six drawings. Comment below which generation is your favorite. Mine is Gen Y. Okay, bye!